Hi, good day to everyone. I'm Teacher Lin and welcome to Math Teleclasse. Tayo na, Math Tuto at Maglibang, di lang para magbilang, para na rin sa kinabukasan sa Math Teleclasse ating simulan. Math Tuto sa Pagbabalik Aral Let's have a short recap on the past lesson and it is all about defining variable in algebraic expression and equation. What is an algebraic expression? An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that uses variables, numerals, and operation symbols. For example, 3a plus 5 is an algebraic expression. What is an algebraic equation? An algebraic equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign, which shows that two expressions on their side are equal. For example, 6x plus 7 is equal to 25 is an example of an equation. What is a variable? A variable is any letter or symbol that represents a number. For example, in our expression 3a plus 5, a is the variable. Now, let us proceed. Mas tuto sa talakayan. We are now going to represent quantities in real-life situation. But how can we do that? I'll give you an example. Let us study and analyze this problem. Jennifer buys 3 kilograms of sweet mango for 50 pesos per kilogram and 4 kilograms of avocado for 35 pesos per kilogram. She gives the seller 300 pesos. Give the expression for the total cost of the fruits she bought and the equation for the amount of change she will receive from the seller. Now, let us use variables to represent the price for each fruit. Let M be the price of a kilogram of sweet mango which is 50 pesos. A be the price of a kilogram of avocado which is 35 pesos. C, be the amount of change. From that phrases and by using variables, we can now help or do our expression which is 3m plus 4a. But how can we get our algebraic equation? Let's have another phrase. 300 minus total cost of the fruits is the amount of change. From that process, we can form our algebraic equation, which is 300 minus the quantity of 3m plus 4a equals c. Where you are going to subtract the total cost of the fruits, 3m plus 4a, from the total amount she gave 300, to get the amount of change. I hope you learned from our example. If you did, get your notebook and ball pen and let's try this. Math tuto sa pagawa. Translate the phrases into algebraic expression or equation. First one, twice B. If your answer is 2B, congratulations, you got the correct answer. Okay, another one, 11 decreased by X. If your answer is 11 minus x, congratulations, you got the right answer. Next one, 6 times the sum of 4 and p. If you got 6, the quantity of 4 plus p, congratulations, you got it. Next is 4 times h is 20. If your answer is 4h equals 20, congratulations, you got it right. Okay, last one. If 3 times q is added to 10, the result is 30. Thirty. 
If you got 3Q plus 10 is equal to 30, then you made it right. Congratulations! Job well done! Okay, let us continue. Matuto sa pagsasanay. On your notebook, translate the following phrases to algebraic expression or equation. I'll give you 3 minutes for this activity. Number 1, Rico is X years old now. Represent his age 5 years from now. Number 2, Julia is 3 years old now. Represent her age if she is 16 years old 5 years from now. And for number 3, Mang Ramon is 5 years older than twice the age of his youngest child. Express his age in equation if his age now is 62. Let D be the age of his youngest child. Okay, we're back. Let us now check your work and let's see if you got the correct answer. For number 1, the answer is x plus 5. Number 2, the answer is p plus 5 equals 16. For number 3, the answer is 2d plus 5 equals 62. Okay, I hope you got all the correct answers. And congratulations again! And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you learn how to translate mathematical phrases to algebraic expressions or equations. 
This is Teacher Lynn saying, Matuto at maglibang, di lang para magbilang, para na rin sa kinabukasan sa mga teleklase ating simulan. Bye!